Hello everyone, it's Robin here and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a plan with me in my big vertical happy planner. I'm pretty excited about this because I just released my Halloween collection and I'm feeling a little haunted house action coming along and I'm excited to put that in my planner. So let's just flip the camera down and get to planning. Ooh. Today we'll be planning for the week of September 18th through the 24th and I have this Tomb Sweet Tomb collection from my Etsy shop at Oh Hello Robin. I love this haunted house collection or this whole Halloween collection that I put together. There's four mini collections in the collection and each set has a home element which is what I love. So what I have here are Tomb Sweet Tomb. We have our home here. We have some portraits which are very fun with some gravestones and bats and then we have some functional boxes on this page here with more bats a candelabra and I'm excited to use these portrait boxes for sure I have with this collection the cauldron boxes and the harvest boxes because these colors all blend together and I'm excited really to put this together so let's get started on this I've been looking forward to this for a while and you can celebrate haunted houses any time, which is what we're going to do. I'm just pulling the house right off to bat. Now, we're this collection is built for a classic Happy Planner, but as you know, I like using this big. And I'm just kind of going right in the center here with my house because this will set the stage for the rest of the spread. Look at that, ooh, so ominous. So now that I set this down, I want to line some washi at the bottom. I have a skinny washi here. I was trying to go with something that has more of a charcoal black situation that would blend but not take away. And here, let me show you this one. This washi is the white and black stripe, which kind of grays it out a little bit. It gives it kind of the sense of, you know, the baseboards or borders in a home since this is a haunted house. So I kind of like this idea. And I'm gonna set it right across the bottom here to give our home a little bit of a place to live. I'm gonna trim it with my trusty Llama Target card, which I've had this card since, I don't know, since I started planning here. And um, it does me well, <laughs> for sure. And I'm just gonna go, I'm gonna go all the way across because I'm not sure how I'm gonna do this because I can cut that down if I need to. You can always cut down. It's hard to add to later, but you can always cut down and then cut right there. Perfect, okay. That kind of just finishes it a little bit, so I'm enjoying this. But I want to get to this tomb sweet tomb situation up here. So these boxes are built. They're one and a half inches wide, so they do fit in a classic. Again, I'm using a big, but that's all okay. These are meant to be written in. So these are the boxes that I'll write in. So each day, what I want is I want some boxes. I'm going to make some lines for checklists and uh, then decor items. So all together I have six of these. I wanna build kind of a hanging wall situation. So I think that's what I'm gonna work on. I'm gonna do maybe every other. And I wanna put one here in my sidebar to start. I'm gonna use this one because the house is that house. So I feel like, you know, that's what they would hang. They would hang that in their home, a picture of your home, right? So we're just gonna kind of do it right here somewhat in the center. There's a uh, a nail, I guess, in the wall up here that's holding the picture up. So I'm using that. That looks really cute. So next, I'm gonna put one of these. I'm gonna go every other, but I'm gonna do it a little differently because I have five left, but I have like seven days. Now, well, I could put one in each day, right? But what I wanna do is use these lines. I'm gonna go a little off kilter. It's a haunted house after a while after all, right? So uh, actually, maybe I wanna do this one. Let's do the circular one. I'm feeling the circular one next. And we'll put this right on Monday, and we're gonna hang these right across the top on this center line, so I'll be able to use this box either day. I put that a little crooked, but it's all good. There. Oh, that looks cute. That looks super cute. And then I'll put one of these. So I'll put this one. I'll hang right here. So look at this. We have our little haunted house happening. 
and all of our haunted portraits at the top. Yes. Can't seem to get them straight, but you know, it doesn't need to be perfectly straight, right? It is a haunted house. Okay, there we go. Loving it, loving it. So I have a circle and two rectangles left. And we're gonna hang these over on this side. Let's put the ornate one. Let's put the ornate one in the center. Right here. Yes. And this one's cute because it's a little trick or treat door. And you'll see these homes in the rest of the collection which is really fun because they do have their own pages. Plus there's an extra bonus home. Perfect. And then we'll put this one here. Okay, already this seems very fun and haunted. Let's put our tomb sweet tomb saying up here. Oh, you know, I was thinking that I wanted it right here but I could also put it right here. I'm going to put it down here. And this is how things change when you start putting it together. How easily things can change, tomb sweet tomb. So this leads me to think that, um, what do I have left? I have bats and some gravestones, which would be cute over here. Look, my tomb sweet tomb is crooked. Easily fixed. Okay, just like so. And I have decor pieces. I think what I wanna do now is I'm gonna take the same washi and I'm gonna put it up on these lines here. And this will kinda encase my gallery wall. Okay, yeah, I think that does. That looks really nice up there, fun. Let's play with the sidebar just a little bit while I try to figure out how I wanna do my lines and boxes. I'm really loving this candelabra and I'm going to use this large um, sticker from the cauldron set and I'm gonna put it right down here, just like so. Okay, cute. I wanna set this up here. Let's look at it. She's super cute, look at her. I think I'm gonna white this note out right here. And, or I could, let me do this. Actually, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put one of these right across here. So it's kind of encasing that little deal. I like that. My thing was I want to uh, bring my candelabra up just a touch higher into this. So we're gonna do that. I'm gonna set it kind of on here and let it just uh, float like so. Oh my gosh, look how cute that is. Look at my little haunted home. I'm obsessed. I kind of don't want to put another box over here because I feel like It'll just become boxy boxy. So I'm gonna hold off on that. I might put a bat. Yeah, bats are good. Oh, speaking of bats, we have these bats too. So this is a border strip. Let's play with this for a second. Look how cute that is. So you can use this as a border somewhere. These bats, um, that's very cute, just as a border. Oh my goodness, I could do that. Or you can cut them out and they'll be individual bats, which is what I think I'm gonna do because I have an idea. I have to find my scissors. I think I want to, so you cut them right between their little bat wing. And then you have these individual bats that you can place wherever you want like in between the numbers. Um, yes, that's what we're doing. So let's go ahead and work on this. Cute. 
cute. Oh my gosh, look at my bats. I love this. Yes, super cute. I wanna start laying some of the boxes in, but I also want to put in these gravestones, which I really want at the bottom here, and I really am liking playing with these cauldron colors. So I have this box and I have this box and I'm gonna put them down here at the bottom and they'll serve both as a box to write in during the day and as a base for my gravestones. Oh my gosh, look at that. <laughs> I am having way too much fun with this. Okay, so what I have left to do, I have some bats here. I have these really cool boxes that have candles in them that I do wanna use. And I do still have some more of the plain color boxes. So we need to figure out where we're gonna put our lines and where we're gonna put our boxes and where we're gonna put our bats. Let's take a square and this one with the big, thicker candle. I still can have some air. So let's put it right here in the center. And then let's place this one right above it. Let's get this other square. And let's do this other thicker one again. Let's put this one over in this area right here. This feels good. So I have to go down kind of low on here and then right about here. Yes. Love me some haunted boxes. Uh, this is really cute. So I think I'm good with boxes right now. I might hold off and use these but we'll see, we'll see. I wanna do some lines next. And what I have here is a gray gel pen. I thought it would be better than black black because um, I don't know, the gray seems like it would really work. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, make some checklists. Oh yes, I like this. I'm glad I used the gray. It kind of just is toned down. It looks really cute. Let's use some of my functional script stickers that are on my Etsy shop also. This one has to-dos, today's and important. And this one has this week, remember, and this month. Um, I wanna do something over here in the sidebar actually with this week. Let's do this to fill this little space out. And uh, we'll see if we can fit this in. So we'll put this week right here. Still want to give it a little space. I don't want to crowd it. And I want to put maybe three bullet points. And I could go these. Yeah, three would fit, right? Or I could do the yellow because it, this is the flame from the candle. I kind of want to do that. So we'll use the harvest bullet points. And we'll put three on here. And this will be kind of the top three things happening this week that I need to, uh, to do, to think about. So I'll put one here and let's go down to about here, maybe down one more, give it a little space and then one more right about there. Okay. <laughs> that looks really cute. I like that. Okay. Then let's get... some of these to-dos. Let's just do uh, to-dos. So one, two, three, four, five, five, six. I'll do some to-dos and some todays. So we'll do to-dos throughout the week. Because that's fun. I like how these look on here. And then one right here. And let's do a to-do here on Thursday. 
And I don't have a checklist for Friday, but I have some boxes. I can I can deal with that. And on the weekend, I'm going to use today because I don't always do a to-do list. Sometimes I'll write out what we're doing, which is kind of fun. And uh, today. Okay, that looks really cute. Let's put these bats in here. Been waiting to use these bats. Right? There's three of them on here. We're just going to use the sheet. Let's put the little one. Well, let's see. Let's put this big one here. And then the middle one here. And then we'll put the little one here. <laughs> to fill it out. Oh my gosh, I love this. This is really fun. I think we're done. Let's get the planner. I love having a haunted house in my planner this week. I think that this will be a lot of fun to play with. Look at that. Oh my gosh, that is super cool. So I used pretty much the whole collection. I have a couple of these stickers left, but you know, when I did my haunted Halloween collection, here it is right here, I made it so they all blend together. And look at these boxes. I can use it with my, my witch set. I can even use it with my spectacular set or my trick-or-treat set. Check it out. I'll put a link down below if you missed uh, that video so that you can see the whole collection as well as let me give you this. You can go to my Etsy shop at Oh Hello Robin, use the code Oh Hello 15. You'll get 15% off of your order and you can view the entire fall and Halloween collection. So um, I also have some new box colors that I put up. This was a lot of fun and I'm really looking forward to next week. What do you have going on next week? I would love to hear from you down in the comments below. Thank you all so much for joining me. I hope you have a magical haunted week and I will see you in my next video. Bye.